Hey everyone, it's me Curtis Perry and I'm back building another building, this being a house, inside of The Sims 3 and today I am using Islo Paradiso as the world to build in. This is the brand new world that comes with Island Paradise and as the name implies, the entire world is made up of a bunch of different islands. One of which encompassing the lot that we see here. This is a really cool lot because it goes actually into the water and using the brand new stilted foundations, I actually could build this entire house right over top of the water, which is super cool. Hence the name of this house. So of course, laying out all of the different flooring here and the different walls. Also adding a fun little dock in the front, which you'll see me putting other boats on in the future. Now, as we build the, put the roof on here, I did want to just keep this house very simple. It has a very simple look and feel towards it, but I absolutely love it. I think it's one of my favorite houses to date. You can see it has a more of a symmetrical vibe once we get into the back. There are these two sections on either side that I like to call the support areas, if you really want to think about it. Uh, they're the only rooms in the house that are not surrounded by windows, as you can see as I'm placing them here. The idea being, and this being my vision for the house, that if you have a house in such a beautiful location, why would you have walls at all? Well, of course, the logical thing being to keep the outdoors out because sometimes there are bugs and other nasty things you don't want out there and you want to keep some sound and you want to keep whatever or a small sense of privacy. Hey, cool, whatever you want. So I surrounded the house with windows. It's almost like a curtain of glass surrounding the entire house and I love this. Now, many of you are probably going to be like, this is crazy because there's little to no privacy even in the bedrooms. As you can see, the only rooms that have privacy to some extent are the bathrooms. And yes, that's true, but uh, this is a secluded lot off on the side sort of of the entire world here so I don't think a lot of people are going to be seeing you anyway and this is the only lot on this small island so it's kind of like your own private island your private getaway and if you really want you can put curtains in if you if you really feel you need some privacy adding in of course the kitchen here I wanted to keep this house as a free flowing entity so you're gonna notice a lot of stuff is free flowing allowing you to move and see throughout the house very simply, here we are in the master bedroom off to the one side. I love the vibe that I went with this. It's very tropical. I used a lot of like wicker furniture or retextured stuff to have wicker, uh, a bunch of lighter woods and stuff like that. Trying to, though this house is modern, keep with a more sort of traditional and like earthy tone. So this is a fun bedroom. This is like a, a kid's boy bedroom, I kind of thought. And there's a, there's a fun uh, bed in there that's actually in the shape of a boat, which is kind of cool. Guest bedroom there. And here's another bathroom along with, you can see the front doors of the house here, which are kind of nice. This is the main living room area here. Again, letting in all of the light from three sides surrounded by giant windows just to let the outdoors in because you're living in an island paradise. The last thing you want to do is surround yourself with walls so you can't enjoy it even when you have to be indoors. Of course, here is the small dining area. It's sort of free flowing. It's not defined as more or less an area. It's just sort of where the table is. Some boat, a boat there and a sea dew or an aqua sled as they're called inside of the game here. Here, I'm moving the ground a little bit further away from the house here because I wanted more of a separation. I'm also going to extend the dock that connects the house back to the land here, which is kind of cool because there is a little bit of an area on the land where your Sims can enjoy. I thought, you know what, if we're going to have some, a beach sort of type area would be awesome because if you're going to have the water and the ground meet, you might as well have a bunch of sand there so you can enjoy it. I thought a nice fire pit could be cool, maybe a little bar. Hey, we'll throw a telescope up there so you can see the beautiful stars above you. A few palm trees, a nice little dividing fence to give you a little bit of privacy here because I do like privacy in certain extent, so we'll add that in there. Of course, though, the backyard is not fully fenced and that is on purpose. Again, sort of sprucing up the little backyard here and all of the cool like beach elements. I'm also going to add in a fun sailboat because there's going to be a mooring post in the back here for you to see. And that's it. That is the house itself. It was quick. Here we are. We're flying over top of Islo Paradiso. And as you can see here is where the house is located, kind of off to the side. But it is absolutely beautiful. This whole island is basically yours and this house is sort of like the gate that allows you to get into it. So it's a beautiful house. I love how it turned out. It's super simple and many might not like that, but I'm a very big fan of it. I think this place would be beautiful. If I could own it and live in it myself, I totally 
would. Of course, continuing on the theme here as we're seeing more parts of the house. Here is the backyard. You can see there's that fun monument that's on the top of the mountain off on the side. And you can see that right from your backyard. You can even see it, I think, from the master bedroom, though don't quote me on that. Uh, we will see that in a few seconds here. But it's just a beautiful view from this house. And of course, the house suspended above the water, not touching the ground, totally above the water. Another shot here from the backyard. As you can see, the telescope here looking up at that monument on the side or on the top of the mountain, per, uh, pardon me. Here we are, we're moving across the dock that connects the house back to land here. Kind of a cool way to enter into the house as well in through these really nice doors. And you'll see inside of the house, it's just so simple and so just, it's easy on the eyes, but the idea is not, it's not to attract you to look inside, it's to attract you outside. The best thing in this entire house is the view, and I will say that over and over again. Another shot here, moving from the kitchen area, again, more wicker in this aspect here, and of course the dining room area, very nice uh, plant that I found there and threw on top of the table. I'm not sure which pack that came with, but it was a nice thing to find, and I thought we'll throw that in there. Here's the living room area, there's a nice fireplace there, a beautiful place for you to sit. I love these chandeliers, which I found, I thought they worked really well, they got candles on them. Again modern-ish, but not too modern. This is the master bedroom here. Of course, again, the beautiful views. There's a nice big screen TV there, of course, as well. So if you're sitting in bed, you can still watch TV, though, of course, the outdoors may be more interesting than what you're watching on that TV there. Another shot of the bedroom here, as you can see, I put some nice art on the walls. Again, trying to be kind of modern, but not entirely forcing the modern aspect onto this house. This is the master bedroom, or the bathroom, sorry. Uh, a nice mirror wall. I'm a big fan of the mirror wall. I haven't used it in a house uh, for a while, so I thought we'd throw it in here. It adds this huge aspect to the uh, room. Here is the fun boys room here. Of course, you can see the boat bed, and there's some cool, interesting artwork on the walls there, along with a beanie, uh, bean bag chair there, which is uh, plants versus zombies. Here is a awesome shot that I got in the house. You can really tell how free flowing it is. We move from one side of the house through the kitchen, through the dining room area, and then we traverse right into the living room itself. It's all free flowing, very open for your Sims to experience, move around. Just imagine if you had like a really nice dinner party or something in here, your Sim friends could just move around in between the different rooms and everyone would be sure to be very happy. Moving outside here, these are my favorite shots to get. I absolutely love these. As we can see the beautiful house in the daylight and we transition into what the house would look like at night. So as you can see, sort of in the dusk hours here and as we traverse into the night, you can see the stars coming out behind the house here and the lights, I didn't try to go overboard here because again, I wanted it to be sort of just just like a warm light, not like a harsh light that's coming from this house, but just a very warm one. Inside here again, you can still see the outside area of uh, Islo Paradiso, though at this time, it's more or less an attraction to inside with more soft lighting throughout the house. Uh, again, trying not to blast the room full of light as what ha is something that happens a lot of times when you put a lot of lights into buildings. Another shot outside, this is the fire pit area, so you can see from the backyard, a really nice, cool place. Yeah, if you had a party area, this is where it would be. Of course, there is a bar here as well. It's just out of frame. And another transitional shot here, this moving from night to day from the backyard here. Absolutely love these shots, and I think you're going to absolutely love this house. It is probably one of my favorite houses. I think I've said this already, but I absolutely love it. I love the views. I love the idea of it. And uh, I think it turned out really, really well. Another shot here, of course, of the connecting dock that sort of connects the house back into the mainland. And one last shot here, moving from the house. And I captured this beautiful sunrise behind the house. It looks beautiful. Look at that pink sky. And here we go. We push away from the house here on its own little private island over top of Islo Paradiso, which comes with the Sims three island paradise. Look at how nice that is. So that little island right there could be yours with this new house. It looks absolutely amazing.
Well, I hope you enjoyed this video today, and don't forget, if you'd like to add this house to your game, you can. Just head over to my website, thecurtisparityshow.ca, where you'll find links to download this house and the many others that I've created. Also, don't forget to check out my 2013-2014 season page, where you can find all of the release dates for my next building videos. A link to all that and more can be found in the description box down below. And hey, if you enjoyed today's video, why not hit up that subscribe button and be sure to check out my other show on this channel called Now, bringing you the most interesting news happening in the world right now. And of course, last, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. Links again down below. Until next time, I'm Curtis Parody. Happy simming.